In this video, I'll be sharing with you guys my Conquest 2023 experience, the story, and we'll do a bit of a haul in the den to let you guys see the things that I got from you guys and from experiencing Conquest Festival as a media partner and also as a con-goer. Full disclosure, I am telling my story and my experience coming from a media partner's perspective. I know a lot of things happened. Unfortunately, a lot of people did not have a good experience with Conquest Festival 2023. And I'm pretty sure the organizers will be working towards a better con experience for all of us in the future. But basically for this video, I want to explain or I want to share with you guys a story, my story for Conquest Festival 2023 and overall, I enjoyed it so much. I cut it, but I'm keeping it anyway. Looking for a tactic sticker. Dun -dun -dun. From Maps. Hi Maps. I bought Anya Spin. Jing, jing, jing. Hi everybody, Blair here and I'm finally recovered from the very tiring but very fun week of Conquest Festival 2023 and if you guys went there, I hope I was able to meet you guys. If hindi, no worries, there's going to be probably a lot of many other chances that we'll be meeting. Of course, there will be a lot of other IRL events na mangyayari and hopefully we get to meet soon. And for those of you guys who I meet, thank you so much. Maraming salamat po for approaching me. I know I may look like a bitch. <laughs> I know a lot of people say that I have a resting bitch face, but if you said hi, trust me, I'm friendly. I'd like to think hindi naman ako masungit or anything. Mukha lang ako masungit, pero trust, I'm not. Anyway, I'm not much of a con goer. I think a lot of you guys know that Conquest is, I think, my third convention so far. I'm not really one to go to things like this before, but now I love it so much. I actually planned on going for three days because I went the first day and then second day. I wanted to go for the third day as well. Castle, so that's my birthday and dead na talaga. My legs are so dead. So, <laughs> sabi ko, maybe I'll just rest for Sunday or the third day because I'll have to go back to work on Monday. Anyways, first off, we have a lot of food. There's a lot of food in the festival which is very fun because well, very fun because I like eating and also because, well, we get free food. <laughs> we get free food without, you know, paying. So I got this Kit Kat Matcha chocolate. Chocolate ba tawag dito? I don't know. But yeah, I got this. I honestly don't remember where I got this, but I got a lot of this. I think even my friends gave me some because they didn't want it. So speaking of food, there's also the Fuwa. Fuwa Fuwa? Fuwa bread something. Well, I didn't hear because, well, like I said, kinain ka ng iba. Yung natitirang food here is this one. Ay! This one, yung Del Monte Potato Crisp Biscuit. I got two. I honestly don't know why I have two. I think binura out ko yung sa boyfriend ko. I'm not sure, but I have two. And then next would be things that I got from the Riot booth. By the way, the Riot booth was the most amazing booth period. I am not being biased because I love League of Legends to death. I'm pretty sure every single con goer who went there will say the same thing. Amazing. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to line up in the Valorant line because I initially thought hindi could umulet, but after talking to the Riot people, shout out to Miss Kimmy and Noel, apparently it pala. <laughs> <laughs> so sayang, hindi ako nakapila for, for Valorant for me to get the Valorant stuff as well. But I was able to get the Teamfight Tactics sticker. Dun -dun -dun. I actually wanted to get the League of Legends sticker, pero wala eh, gotcha eh. Hindi kayo swerte. This is like the entry ticket that they give people. Unfortunately, I had to cut this because I don't know how to remove it from the one-way lock that they provided. So yeah, nakat ko siya, but I'm keeping it anyway. Pero yun nga, sayang. Sana hindi ka na next time para at least people like me, I will be keeping that as a souvenir. You know what I mean? I think the last thing that I got from the Riot booth is this. I got the lanyard. This is my third Riot Games lanyard, I think. And they all look the same. I'm not sure, but yeah. I got this. And then, next comes the things that I got from my friends, colleagues, other creators, streamers, etc. So I got the sticker from Laika. Even though Laika wasn't there, I was able to win something from Laika. I also won a 500 Vesso voucher from Shakey's, which I got to So that's what I got. But I got that. And then I got this from Maps. Hi, Maps. See this? Very cute. Apparently, the name dito ay hand 
card? Tama ba ako? I'm not sure, but I think this is similar to what K-pop um, concerts, concert goers use. Yung uh, uh, I'm a, di ko alam. I don't watch K-pop. And then there's a lot of beauty products as well, but I was only able to get the one from Ponds. Oh. I'm not. I personally don't use Ponds. Uh, if you want to know about my skincare routine, I'll definitely share it with you guys in the future. But for now, um, I don't use Ponds, but my mom does. So, I got it from my mommy. And then, I got this. Personally, I don't know what the Game Pass is for, but I think it's for Metaverse. I got like three pieces of this, but I'm not sure what it's for. So, if you guys want it, let me know in the comment section. Then, maybe I'll just give it to you guys. There's the Grab booth. Oh, this is another one. This is the... Photo card from Janelle. There's a lot of photo cards that I got, I think, but some of which I gave away to other friends as well. Pero some of which tinago ko pero hindi ko na mahana pero yun. I'll share it to you guys in the future. Um, another is this. Di ko alam ko nung tawag dito pero hologram kineso from Grab. You see that? I've been a user of Grab Unlimited for a few months now, and honestly, it's very sulit. That's why I always have it on. Luckily, me ganap si Grab Unlimited sa Grab boot, so I was able to do it for two days. Even though, oh wait, I only did it one day, sayang. But I could have gotten the pillow as well. Kaso they changed the mechanics of the game ng second day para mas mahirap siya ng first day, which is when I played the second day because I was kind of busy because I had to shoot a lot of things for Oasis Gaming as well and Lazada and everything else. Oh, this is Ollie, Stellar, and DK. They're the ones that I went around with the most. And then I also. Oh, this is how the Media Pass looks like. Thank you so much to Akad Arena for inviting me as a media partner yet again for another year. And then at the back, you'll see my IP from Twitch. This is given from the Twitch party, Conquest after party, nung second day, which of course was a lot of fun as well. Pero we'll discuss more about that later. Yung Old Spice booth, I <coughs> joined it cause hello may freebie sayang naman. So I got, tinanong ko yung mga ate dun, sabi ko, what's the most expensive one? Tapos sabi nila ito daw. So kailan mo ko yung pinakamahal, di ba? <laughs> it's this one. Honestly, it smells so nice. I'll probably use this in the future. Pero may sabon pa kasi sa banyo, so, you know. Pero bango, I love it. Ami lotion, actually. Oh! This is the only thing that I bought from the Artist Alley. Kasi, I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of really great merchandise there. Really great art. Pero, this one spoke out to me the most. Chajam. I got an Anya. What do you call this? Pen. Anya pin. From last year's conquest, I think I only bought pins as well. But I bought Kokomi and Klee. So this year, I bought Anya's pin. Jing, jing, jing. It's cute. There were other Anya pins na cute. Kaso I didn't want like the overall look because the background sometimes it's a different color and I don't like the background. So, yeah. And then this one I got from the Twitch Philippines booth. I'm not sure if it's someone's art or something but it's a bokol no ay ano to my hero academia sticker pack i haven't opened it yet but you know what let's open it now oh it's it's actually not my hero academia it's waifu stickers <laughs> i thought it's a my hero academia sticker pack apparently it's waifu stickers ay natuglag Next, we have another one from Grab, yung nilalagay sa likod ng phone. And then, this one I bought kasi I really need to buy a new mouse. And, well, I'm not getting any free mouse from anyone, so I bought one. <laughs> and I've always wanted to buy a wireless mouse. And luckily, I went for this one. I specifically waited for Conquest to happen before I buy a mouse. Because based on experience, Rotobox, um, and other sellers, other companies, brands, they usually give special discounts whenever festivals or like cons happen. So I waited for Conquest to happen and then I bought the Model O Pro Wireless Blue Lynx Glorious Forge Ang Haba Glor Mouse. <laughs> it looks like this. I'm actually using it now. It's actually really pretty. For me naman kasi, I'm not very particular with like the specs. 
like how the technicalities of it look like. I'm more particular with how it looks like and the overall size of the mouse. I don't want a super small one. I also don't want a very bulky one. I want one that I can cover with my entire hand. Do you see this? Um, one that has additional, at least additional two buttons, which is on the side here. So this one's perfect. I wanted a white and pink one, cause so I think, oh, that one doesn't have a discount. So I went for the blue and white as a pre pot. But overall, I'm very happy with this. I got it for two thousand pesos. I think the original price price is like two eight or three something. I don't know. But I checked quick. It's two eight. So big discount still. So thank you so much. Oh. I got this from the Razer. I yeah, the Razer Gold booth, basically for Ragnarok Origin. Not sure if you guys know, but I'm very addicted to Ragnarok Origin, and basically I had to do the activities there and also top up to get this and a lanyard from Razer. I initially wanted to um to get the pouring plushy kaso nung second day it was out of stock na I think nakuha na lahat so sad I wanted to get it nung second day pero number one I'm busy number two ubus na kahit na maaga ako pumunta I also got this thank you so much Sabat for giving me your jet pods I haven't opened it yet as you can see it's sealed pa because I'm going to make a separate video about this but uh, when I showed this on stream yesterday one of my viewers told me na it's really good and I googled the price it's actually super affordable versus any other wireless earpods and yung tawag dun? wireless earphones earpods out there so i'm excited to try this out and what's so good they apologize because when they gave it to me they said sorry we only have white and pink so sabi ko, what do you mean that's perfect <laughs> That's exactly the color that I'm looking for. So yeah, really happy. This is how it looks like. Well, not really, because it's not yung labas. But wait for my video about this. I'll definitely post it. Maybe before this, panga, or maybe after this. Who knows? But yeah, watch out for my video. And then last but not the least, probably my best. Not really purchase, because I didn't buy this. <laughs> the best thing that I ever got from Conquest was. Dun, 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 dun. The Blair tote bag. I'm not sure if you guys know, but I have a collaboration merch with Oasis Gaming and it's called the Blair tote bag. I think some people call it sleigh bag because basically that's what the tote bag says. That's the design. But it's a tote bag in collaboration with me and Oasis Gaming. Thank you so much Oasis Gaming for making this all happen. I'm very happy with how this turned out. Unfortunately, if you guys want to buy the tote bag, it's currently out of stock. Naubos po yung stocks during the second day. But no worries, I think I am quite confident and positive that Oasis Gaming will have a restock for, for the tote bag. So I'll let you guys know. I'll post about it kapag it's out again. And then maybe you guys can buy. And hopefully that time, online na siya. Like, it's available online for shipping, etc. Especially for those who are outside the Philippines. So yeah, this is how it looks like. I super love it kasi um, I was specifically looking for a tote bag for big people. Like me. I'm tall kasi I'm tall and I'm big. And um, usually, tote bags are quite small. So yun yung yare. It looks like a purse or like a mini bag for me. I don't want that. I want a bag bag. So far, yun yung siya. A bag bag. I'm really happy with this one. And then, of course, last but not the least, um, after the second day of Conquest Festival, comes the Twitch after party. Conquest, Twitch, Twitch, Conquest, Twitch, Twitch, Conquest. Basta yung, <laughs> basta yung Twitch after party after Conquest. You guys get my point. Um, so there's a lot of food there as well. Thank you so much for the free dinner. And what's so special from this year versus last year was I actually enjoyed the trivia game that we did. And as a brainy kini, I won! Nanala ko dun sa pa trivia game. Wait, not exactly. I'm seventh place, but I still won something. I got a Twitch jacket. Honestly, I've been wanting to have a Twitch jacket for the longest time. And finally, I have one. So yeah, thank you so much Twitch and Akad Arena for, for that. <laughs> and then of course, another Twitch tote bag. This one's a lot smaller than the one that they gave away last year. Because I also have it there. That one's bigger. This one's smaller. But still the same design. So still pretty. And then inside the tote bag, we have the Twitch t-shirt, which I love so much. This is my second Twitch t-shirt. Stickers from Twitch. Pins. And... 
What else? Oh, some stuff from Spawns. Oh, this one. Really cute. Looks like a make auto hat. Diba? A Twitch hat. Or Twitch keychain pala na hat yung design. Or copy and design. This is a giveaway from the Twitch party. It's the Color Stay Velour Stick. I think this is a lip liner? Joke, it's an eyeshadow. Okay, I'll just give it to my sister or my mom because I don't wear eyeshadow. That's it. <laughs> That's everything that I got for the two days that I was there. Most of the things that I got are food or like edib edibles, like things that will perish. I if I'm making sense. But they mana ubos. So of course I wasn't able to like show it to you guys anymore. So there. Um overall, Contest Festival 2023 is a really great experience for me, really fun as well, because I got to meet a lot of friends, a lot of you guys as well. I don't wanna call you fans because I won't call. I just don't wanna go there. So I, when I say friends, that includes my IRL friends, my Twitch friends, and of course you guys, basically anyone who enjoys my content, I'll call you friends because I don't want to call you fans. Just not that. I know a lot of you guys, a lot of people had different opinions, different experiences, most of which are negative about the festival this year. Honestly, I feel for you guys. Sabi ko sa friends ko, if that's me, I probably wouldn't have lined up and went in and lined up for like four hours or so. I am with you guys with that. And I truly want the con experience in general in the Philippines to be better. So hopefully the organizers learn something from this, especially because it's not a bad thing to, to dream, diba. I'd like to think that that's what the organizers are going for. They wanted a big convention, a lot of things for people to do and you know that's all good and well and honestly i would want that for everyone as well but i feel like for this year we were over biting over bite they bit what basta yon <laughs> but yeah hopefully next year or the next convention that we'll all be with together that we'll all be in it's definitely going to be a better one for both the media people the con goers the organizers and for guests as well in case there will be guests again overall truly a wonderful experience i hope you guys will not grow tired of supporting akad arena supporting you know people who organize conventions because overall at the end of the day it's all for us this makes our community better Fighter, stronger, and even bigger as well. I'm really glad that more and more people are getting into gaming, pop culture, you know, anime, cosplaying, etc. Because honestly, I find it all kind of weird before, but now I love it so much. But yeah, I'll see you guys on the next convention, and hopefully, makita kita po tayo sa Conquest Festival 2024. Thank you so much, everybody, and Happy Pride Month! By the way, Happy Pride Month! <laughs> happy Pride Month! Bye.